Will aircraft carriers in World of Warships be similar to SPGs in World of Tanks? The gameplay for these two classes is very different. The main mission of the SPG is to hide and snipe the enemy, while playing an aircraft carrier is more like a strategy game where you control your squadrons. Your task is not only to attack, but also to support your allies by scouting and defending against enemy aircraft. To be effective as a carrier, you must properly combine your squadrons to drive the enemy into a trap where you can perform your deadly attack, but you should not rush into the middle of battle where you can face a strong barrage of air defenses. It is much better to track down a single target. Besides controlling your squadrons, you also need to control the position of your ship. If you sit in a map's corner, your squadrons will have to travel a long distance in order to return to your ship, and this will greatly decrease your effect on the battle. But if you stay too close to the enemy, you could easily become fish food. All these factors make aircraft carriers one of the most complex classes, and at the same time, a very efficient ship. You can see the gameplay and role of an aircraft carrier is very different from an SPG. Will it be possible for a captain to set altitude for their squadrons? At the time of World of Warships release, our players will not be able to control parameters such as altitude of aircraft. All squadrons launched from aircraft carriers will be moving to the target at predetermined height settings. There are several height settings in our game. Basic parameters are the following. A point at which the plane starts his attack and the point at which the attack is performed. All of these parameters, as mentioned earlier, are fixed in the configuration and agreed with the experts from the game design department. It should be noted that the flight height will vary greatly for different types of aircraft. For example, the dive bombers will fly higher than torpedo bombers, and fighters can equally perform effective attacks and destroy the enemy at any height. How will the winner of the fight be determined if two squadrons attack each other? Direct contact of two fighter squadrons does happen very often, but victory in such cases depends on several factors. First is the number of fighters in the group. Second is the type of fighters and their combat power, which depends on the aircraft carrier's level. And finally, the last one is the support of air defense from allied ships. More often, fighters attack the enemy's strike aircraft, which are trying to get our ships, or they attack the enemy fighters, which are in turn trying to destroy our strike aircraft. Imagine that fighters completely destroyed two torpedo squadrons, but those squadrons managed to destroy the enemy battleship before going down. So who will win the battle in this situation? Will it be possible to launch a kamikaze from Japanese aircraft carriers or give an order to ram the enemy? During the war, kamikaze attacks became the hallmark of Japanese armed forces and a real nightmare for the Allied fleet. But most of the kamikaze pilots started their terrible journey from coastal airfields, not from the decks of aircraft carriers. As at the release time, the game will represent full squadron battles, and it will be impossible to order a plane to ram the enemy, but a destroyed plane can damage a ship if it crashes into the deck. Aircraft carriers have enough firepower to destroy any opponent despite not being able to kamikaze planes in-game at the time of release. Will it be possible to recruit new squadrons during a battle if all the squadrons are destroyed? Before the battle begins, a player prepares a ship for the fight. In reality, such preparations can last for months or even years. And when a player clicks join the battle, he gets right into a battle where there are no ports or aerodromes. Our hero can only rely on his experience and skill, and of course use all his prepared forces. At the end of the battle, our player will return to the port to restore his squadrons and choose which air groups that will lead him to victory in the next fight.